I'd like you to imagine with me. I'd like you to imagine a glorious day. It's spring, 72 degrees outside. There's a perfect breeze. Imagine with me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes and imagine with me. Close your eyes. Imagine the flowers are in full bloom. The birds are chirping. You're exactly who you've always dreamed to be. A scientist, a Nobel Prize winner, a famous artist. You're a teacher, a baseball player. You're a homemaker. Imagine heavenly all the time. Imagine nirvana all the time. Imagine perfection without change. Now, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Do you see the terrifying reality of sameness? Sameness without change. You're doing exactly the same thing every day. Going to the same class. Doing the same thing at work. Eating the same thing. Feeling the same way. That's scary, isn't it? <laughs> if you erase change from life, there are no choices, no progress, no alternatives, no career paths. There are no opportunities to learn or no opportunities to love. I'd like you to consider this. Change is not your enemy. It's the best friend you have. It's the friend that always, over and over, gives you options in life, gives you choices in life. And what does that matter? Change provides you with the opportunity to exchange what you have with something better, your occasion, your situation. Hey, you bring, you bring the talent and the desire and change will give you an opportunity to pursue happiness, to achieve it. Change will provide you with the opportunity to exchange, to swap, to trade what you have with something better. And let me tell you, you have the talent and you have the desire. Uh, Texas A&M University study found that 500,000 years ago, the humans developed this gene that triggers our need to go, to discover, to explore, so that we can change our circumstances and survive and thrive. You, all of you, you have this gene in you. All of you have this divine, and may I suggest, entrepreneurial gene in you. The ability to change. The ability to exchange. The ability to innovate, initiate, improve, and prosper. Now, you are an entrepreneur. You have the talent to exchange. It's in you. Whether you accept it, <laughs> whether you deny it, it's in you. Whether you are born poor or rich, whether you are black, or white, whether your color of your eyes is blue or brown. You have the gene to exchange, the ability to exchange. So before you judge me about your conventional notice of what's an entrepreneur, let me try to explain myself. I believe entrepreneurship is not just about money. It's about innovation, progress, improvement, the desire to be better, the ability to be more. It's about courage, tenacity, and flexibility. 
It's about being alive and pursuing happiness. It's about our choices and priorities. It's about a constant exchange. So in the uh, 1700s, John Baptist Say, a French economist, uh, first described what an entrepreneur is. He said, an entrepreneur is someone who has something and feels that's underutilized and wishes to exchange that with something of higher value, something better. So would a cook, a chef, with some food stuff and a bunch of spices, mixing them together, creating a delicious dish, would that definition an entrepreneur? And later in the 1700s, an Irishman named uh, Richard Cantillon added the element of risk to this definition. He said, an entrepreneur is somebody who has something, an idea, a situation, a product, has something, who wants to exchange this with something better, of higher value, knowing that there is risk. So I like to propose that every student with that definition is an entrepreneur. Invest their time, effort, money, <laughs> their own or their parents, in order to exchange their life with something better, to get a degree. But we all know having a degree doesn't guarantee success. There is risk. So let's look at this differently. Some believe that entrepreneur is a combination of two Latin words, entre and prender. Entre means to undertake and prender, to understand or grasp. So an entrepreneur is one who undertakes the challenge of understanding, grasping knowledge. Someone who learns. So my friends, if you've ever learned anything, you've practiced entrepreneurship. I am an entrepreneur, not because I build companies or invest in startups, because I love learning. <laughs> because I love to cook, because I'm an, I'm, I'm an immigrant that came to the United States at the age of 16, taking a risk to exchange my life for something better. Now, let's, let's admit, you're all in entrepreneurs. But what you exchange is different. What, how you define better is different, and we're not we're not the same. We're all different. We color our entrepreneurial talent differently. And that is precisely, that is exactly why we are unique artists. That is exactly we are genuine Picassos. You, all of you, you are the art and you are the artist. And every time you color your entrepreneurial talent. You choose, you exchange, and you paint your future your way. You are creating your masterpiece, your next best version. Now, to master your art, first you have to recognize that, that you're unique, <laughs> and also recognize that you are not them. You are not them. So let's look at uh, an artist, an entrepreneur who focuses on business. Let's look at uh, Oprah Winfrey. She's not like Chanel. She's not like Elon Musk. She's not like uh, Jeff uh, Bezos or, or, or Steve Jobs. She's not like Kim Kardashian. Every one of them are different. <laughs> They're all different. They have their own priorities their own view of risk. They have something different to exchange. And they have their own entrepreneurial philosophy that guides them to create and to exchange. So let's look at some famous entrepreneurs who are not focusing on money. Let's look at some who like to exchange their situation and what they have for something better like 
eliminating poverty or achieving freedom or independence. Let's look at Mother Teresa. Let's look at Martin Luther King or Gandhi. Now, you're not them. But you have the talent. And you have the ability because you are the art and you are the artist. But in order to develop your own entrepreneurial philosophy, I suggest you need four little things. You need to be an authentic, an authentic dancing pilot who has an ocean. <laughs> an authentic dancing pilot who has an ocean. You have to realize that you are unique and discover your authenticity. Then you have to be a dancer, aware of the timing of change and life. Then like a pilot, like a pilot, you have to navigate risk, not dive into it. And then you have to create an ocean where you create energy, where you provide, you connect, and you exchange. So, bottom line, bottom line, you are the art, you are the artist, and you are the entrepreneur. And what that means, and what that makes you, is the idea worth spreading. You are the idea worth spreading. You. you and your phenomenal ability to exchange. You and phenomenal ability to befriend change and escape sameness. You are the art and the artist whose impression will not only change the community, it can change the world. So. Before, before we part, before we part, a long time ago I made a promise to myself. I'd like to ask you to, I'd like to challenge you to take the same promise. So do me a favor, raise your right hand. Raise your right hand to me and make a promise not to me, to yourself. Promise that you will never, ever leave change to chance. Promise that you realize that change is your friend. Promise that you will realize and acknowledge and embrace your phenomenal entrepreneurial ability to exchange. And always remember that you are the art, you are the artist, and you are creating the next best version, the next masterpiece, which will change the world. So I leave you with you, this great idea. <laughs> Thank you.